Hey, people, we're here. Hey, we're here. It's uh, it's it's Apon play playtest. Uh, we don't really have a good name for this. Apon playtest, I guess, is the uh, the the name. Uh, I am your host, Joshua Wise. I am here with three people to uh, finish finish our our game of the hard lessons, which is currently funding on itch.io. Um, right now you can see the link at the bottom of the screen, bit.ly slash THL dash itch, uh, THL and itch are capitalized. Um, so I am here with, uh, Madison. How are you, Madison? Good. Been a busy week, but I'm making it through. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, this was, this was a weird week for me. I got very like mentally distracted this week. So I'm like trying to get focused back in again. Uh, David is here. How are you, David? I'm doing good. How are you, man? I'm doing all right. Doing all right. A little tired. Painted a house today, but ready to like sit here and talk into a microphone, I guess. Uh, yep. Um, before just passing out entirely. Um, I feel that. Yeah. Uh, speaking of passing out entirely, Ben Wallace is here. How are you, sir? Hey, I'm doing great. I'm excited because this hard le campaign, it's funding campaign for the hard lessons is going into the last like two days. Two days, two hours and 56 minutes, as it says here on my oh, screen. Oh, wow. Okay. So okay. I am excited about that. Yeah. And the the campaign to raise, like to do our stretch goals is what's ending. Uh, but you'll still be, be able to go to that link and uh, yeah. buy the hard lessons. Uh, but right now it's on sale. Uh, yeah. for five bucks or um was it ten bucks for everything that correct that gets unlocked uh yeah but... yeah listen folks you want to buy it for ten bucks right now because that's going this that deal that josh just said is going away after yeah. that campaign is a two days and two hours so if you do it for ten dollars right now you get everything we unlocked in this campaign so it's worth it yeah uh absolutely uh that was slightly harder of a sell than i was going for was but, it? Um, yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> um <laughs> uh but yeah so it's um uh you know obviously all the stuff's going to be up there but we've already unlocked the pirate uh playset uh which i'm which i already have a name for um Ooh. i i'm gonna th i'm gonna do my re the reveal uh right now oh and, cool um let me see here uh oh, it's, this is cool as so long as I can find it, uh, let's see. Sure, uh, sure. I think it's actually a Google Doc. Let me let me pop into my Google Docs here. Uh, so the the idea of the pirate play test uh, play set is that there will be for every play set that we unlock, there will be a, a unique rule for that um, for that uh, play set. So for the pirate play set, uh, we're gonna do. Um, uh, basically you're going to be creating the pirate code for the pirate ship that you are all students on. Um, so each turn, each person can sort of add a rule to the pirate code of the ship. And at the end, you will have your pirate code for your ship. Um, and right now we're, we're funding for the, the superhero expansion. I'm not sure what the rule is for that yet. Um, but... I found like a sea shanty uh, that um, that people sing. Uh, um, and I I need to find I, I think I need to find the reference to it. Um, so the the name of the expansion is going to be the hard lessons when the winds won't blow uh, nice. a pirates farewell. Mm -hmm. Um, and this will, uh, uh, sort of take on the idea of sort of a melancholy, uh, pirate farewell. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, um, it's, it's gonna, it's in some ways going to be inspired by the experiences we had playing, um, what's that pirate game? The, not, uh, not Black Flag, though, that, that's part of it, but, um. Uh, the Microsoft one that now yep. has Johnny Depp in it. Oh, what is it called? Oh my gosh, I can't believe neither of us remembers what that game is called. Yep. Uh, chat, you can get at us at the name of this pirate game that 
I played a lot of that I can't remember the name of. Um, but yeah, there's there's a thing where you can like play music and stuff while you're while you're sailing. But so uh, excited to do that. Um, excited to do the superhero one if that if that comes through. Um, yeah. Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Yep. Yep. I was um, really hoping we were going to make it to the uh, sports one because, as I told Josh, I, should I reveal what I was going to name that, or should I wait and reveal that? You should later? probably wait uh, and reveal that, yeah. and when we actually, you know, get around to, uh, yeah, good call. Uh, do that. Um, so uh, we are going to finish our adventure tonight. This is uh, we've already. Um, Going through most of the game, all that is left now is talking about the death of the master, how the master died, um, and this this we're playtesting sort of new rules for this ending tonight uh, for the first time, and uh, what we're going to do. Um, who is going to be first player? So I was first player, and then I guess. Madison, you were first player, then Ben was first player. So I guess David's going to be first player um, okay. in this. And so what you're going to do is you're going to draw a card, and we're going to look at what is now table three in the book, which is uh, how the master fell. Um, and that card is going to uh, give you the prompt for how the master fell. And then each of us is going to have the chance to narrate uh, what we understood about how the master fell, what we heard about how the master fell, what brought us here to this last uh, sort of gathering in honor of the master. We can contradict each other. We can say things like, well, that's not how I heard it. We want to kind of stay true to the card. Um, and whatever face the card is um, will sort of dictate the master's attitude towards, um, or I rather, I should say the suit of the card will dictate sort of the master's attitude toward the situation. So, um, you know, if we pick hearts, uh, it'll be caring. Um, uh, if we pick, uh, diamonds, it's jovial spades, it's solemn and, and clubs stern. Um, and then if we are at a loss, if we're just like, I'm not really sure what I should say, we can draw a card and refer back to the previous chart and just get kind of inspiration uh, okay. as sort of a motivation for our piece of it. And when we're done with that, we will all sort of vote and decide together what to do with the school. Will we just leave it be? Should one of us take over the school or should we destroy the school entirely? Um, and then uh, and then we get to sort of say what, you know, uh, we get to complete the game by answering some questions. What do I take with me? What do I leave behind? Um, how has my understanding changed? Am I different now? What has been laid to rest? Do I have new wounds? We each have to answer at least two of those questions. Um, okay. So, uh, all right, David. Okay. Go for it. So I'm drawing the the prompt of how the master fell right yes. now, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. I got a king of diamonds. All right, so king uh, is, uh, as time was catching up with the master, they decided to go out in a blaze of glory. Um, and diamonds is jovial. So, mm. um, yeah, so, so... What did what sort of was the situation that the master decided to? So I go first on this. Yep. And yeah. if you want, so if you decide that there's no sort of like nothing's coming to mind, draw another card, and look back at the previous chart as a prompt to kind of get you there. Thinking, I'm thinking just to try. I think I'm gonna draw again. Okay. For some for some inspiration on it, because that's a that's a lot packed into one sentence. Sure. Yeah. And I'll just say, you know, we are going into this cold. Like normally, by the time you get to this point, right. you've just played the full game, and we yeah. did that. We've a had a week, week off. Ago. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So exactly. It's hard to go into the last one cold like that. But also, mm. that's why the prompts are there. You can fall back <clears> on them if you want to. 
Yeah. All right. I'm going to draw again. Seven of hearts. So. Seven of hearts. Someone you care for is dying of a sickness and they are not, and they are likely not going to last to see you complete your studies. The master grants you a special honor that you can share with your dying loved ones so they can be proud and pleased. So was the, special. Yeah, so the idea here is take that scenario as an inspiration instead okay. of a strict situation. Like don't answer that exactly. Right, exactly. But the idea okay. is like, okay, so they went out in a blaze of glory and it's got something to do with someone being sick, a loved one being sick, somewhere like that. You have a lot of freedom to interpret in this last question. Okay, okay. This is tough. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> if you'd rather, like, it roll back, I, I'll, I'll happily take the challenge. Do you want to try and give it a go? I'm just, I'm struggling yeah, sure. with, a week, with a week off from it, and then, like, that just seems heavy. <laughs> the sure. Gate. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> take it. So, uh, let's say... Um, uh, well, from what I heard, the master, um, you know, was getting on in years and, um, his old companion, I don't know if you remember his old companion, uh, but, uh, there was always this little lizard woman who was with him. Um, uh, 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 Maggie, Maggie, the lizard woman, um, who, uh, uh, my understanding is Maggie became quite sick as years went on. Um, I thought Maggie was a dog. Um, sorry. All right, sorry. <laughs> was, was are you bad. are you species blind? Is that it, Light Bender? Have you? <laughs> um, I I have moved past seeing species. I see, I see. Just you, okay? Um, well, uh, <laughs> my understanding is that Maggie came down with some sort of lizard version of mange, um, and uh, uh, the master thought, well. You know, time is running out, and I may as well um, seek the great uh, cure for Maggie, which we all know lives inside of the Howling Caves of um, th th Thera Therabax. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, uh, and I believe he went in and, and won for Maggie the cure, but in, in doing so, uh, his, his own light was snuffed out. And that's at least what I heard. Um, it could be, could be otherwise. But um, I saw Maggie when we were coming in, and she looked fine. So I, I, I think the story is probably true. But do you ask questions after this? Also, like the you other can, round, you can. But you also can simply say, okay, so I also heard, or I heard something different, or from what I understood, this happened, or that happened. And again, you could just draw a card and use that as inspiration to modify what I have said about, about the master's death. Okay. So David, or actually I guess now because we've, we've sort of scooted that way, David, you can either take your turn or it'll, would... it'll go to Madison. I'd like to take it because I don't okay. want to cop out of going first twice. <laughs> and then, like, I should take it. So, <laughs> can I ask one more question? Sure. I is there a toast after this round or no? Not? Uh, well, as a final, but not uh, after each person speaks. Oh, bummer. So, I didn't need uh, this whole drink just for <laughs> a toast. What a shame. Look, yeah, no, I bet you're really struggling. <laughs> I'm real. It's going to be a real struggle. Yeah. See, I, I had heard, I, I didn't hear much about, I didn't hear much about Maggie, because I thought Maggie was okay, but maybe she, maybe she got sick, but I heard that the master ended up going to the Howling Mines, I think that's what we called it. The Howling the Howl Caves of Therabax. Howling Caves, or maybe they're my... I, 
Did you hear it was called the Howling Minds? Let me check my notes as the scribe. <laughs> yes. Oh, they're actually the minds of Therabax. Well, but there's uh, a note. Sometimes they're the caves. It's fine. Two very different sorts uh, of things, but go on. Two, two very different <laughs> sorts of things. Kind of like the different secret words. Regardless, um, I heard <clears throat> that he had gone there in search of a newfound power that he'd started hearing whispers of, which is ironic for hearing whispers of something in a howling place. Uh, and this ca- I only heard little bits and pieces that in this cave, this like orb could contain even more magical prowess for any arcane user to possess and become extremely powerful. And then he never came back. So you're saying he went into a cave in his old age to go find more prowess. Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wasn't there, but Mm -hmm. like if he was old as it, like towards the end of your life, but also still as powerful as the master was, what if that prolonged his life? Do you know the name of this orb? Let me check my notes. Um, oh, yes, it is the... He referred to it uh, as the... Uh, as the orb of Carthen, Carthavon. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, see... I actually knew Maggie, oh. and she told me a very different story, oh. where the master had decided that he wanted to gain more power than he already had to allow himself to be youthful and live on for an extended period of time. And as he went into these caves, if you so call them, or mines, uh, Maggie Mm -hmm. tried to stop him uh, from doing anything too dangerous that could consume not just his own power, but others in the process, as power is not to be toyed with. And uh, my understanding is she got some help from someone to help remove some of the master's power to cause the master to no longer be able to do all that he used to be able to. And it got him in a tricky situation. Uh, Ran into something pretty bad in that area. And because he wasn't quite on top of it, he passed. So Maggie killed him. No, no. Well, sort of practically. That no. Like She's trying to protect him. Well, he it didn't really didn't him. work out, did it? <laughs> Technically, he he got himself into his own death. She had nothing to do with it. But did she help by weakening him before he went sure on the dangerous like excursion? That's what She's, it sounds she like. She was trying to discourage him from the outset. She was trying to protect him. But did she tell him directly or just siphon Yes, that's actually a really important point in the story. Did she (laughs) let him know that she was weakening him? No, but I assume the journey was pretty arduous and difficult and uh, that he would have known by the time he got there. I think if if this is true, we should probably kill Maggie. That's that's my idea. Maggie can't be here anymore. (laughs) Maggie... Needs to be excommunicated. Apparently Maggie school. thinks that taking people's powers away protects them, and I don't trust somebody like that. Without telling them. Without informing them. Hey, I I think your ability to fly, Icarus, is too powerful, so I'm just going to weaken your wings a bit before you go flying and then not let you know. Um, so, you know. Let's have a, a little meeting with Maggie. Maggie sounds like a terrible murderer, yes. <laughs> And that's typical for lizard people, is in my experience. Oh. I'm not a racist. Not just, <laughs> just in my experience, all lizard people are terrible. 
All right, I don't want to agree with the various anymore. <laughs> I don't see species, and that, and this is part of the reason why. <laughs> well, then you're not going to notice when a lizard person is coming up to stab you in the back. I suppose not. Sure, there were good intentions. Sure, you know, keep Whoa, you safe with, by stabbing you. <laughs> with stabbing you in the back, there's good intentions? Could be. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a wild statement. <laughs> Seems like Alana's a sort of uh, a lizard person apologist that is now suspicious in my mind. Stabbing it. Oh. Well, if you get stabbed in the back, there's no way you're going to fall off a ledge. That's, you know, it's really reduces your chances of being eaten by a dinosaur by a lot. What you're talking about anymore. Just saying what, what sort of madness must go through the minds of a person who would do such a thing. Hey, Lightbender. Um... What, yes. what, did, what did you hear? You, well, you, I heard it happened very differently than all of that. Well, but of I, 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 did. I heard it wasn't Maggie at all, actually, that it was, well, it appeared to be Maggie, but it was a ruse. It was a ruse, and it was truthfully Isatrix, the great dark wizard. And Isatrix was trying to gain control of the Waybridge. And what, what's our special name for our master? I forget. The, the what the speaker the okay keeper. thank you keeper. keeper keeper right okay uh but uh, the keeper saw through the ruse and the only way to stop isatrix was for the keeper to themselves go up in a blaze of glory an inferno taking their life and the life of isatrix at the same time that's what i heard happened I just so saw Ma Isatrix on the way. So here. was Mazzy, Maggie. Well, then it didn't work, did it? <laughs> Sorry. That was the second question I didn't hear. So was Maggie Isatrix or was Maggie Maggie and then Isatrix was there as well? I heard that Maggie was Isatrix in disguise or whatever. The like other the whole about. time? Well, I don't know, I suppose. <laughs> So is the trick just been hanging out here in the tower for years? It could be. And you thought is the trick was a dog? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> I see. Yes. This is how I heard it. I yeah. didn't make it up. Sure. I heard it. It's it's not wrongly said in the streets of the town that uh, the thoughts of Ergonax, the Lightbender, are mysterious and impenetrable. Yes. That is often said by many far, far and near. <laughs> Fascinating. That's how I heard it. Um, I well, uh, I guess we're never going to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> um, no. Well, none of us were there. I mean, we could always ask Maggie. I feel like we need to have a whole discussion with Maggie. All of these same questions at, right after this. I have to decide whether to unmake Maggie after all of this, yes. <laughs> yes. Um... Well, uh, so now uh, that we've we've completed the final round, um, uh, so teachers fall uh, fifth encounter. Do, 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 do. Um, now, what we could have also done if is if anybody wanted to draw a card for inspiration and they had gotten a three, they would have been personally entangled in the master's death, and they would have gotten the question. Uh, how was I responsible for the master's death? Um, apparently, Maggie drew that card. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, each person's memories are valid. Perhaps you remember a master died one way, blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, disagreements about the master are not a problem. Uh, so now, um, 
we have to decide, we have to vote about what to do with the school. Should one of us take over the school? Should we just leave and go our own ways? Or should we destroy the school? I'm going to stack rank my options here, and um, I'd, I'd be sort of okay with either Shaanxi or Alana sort of taking over the school. I'm okay with that. That's my, that's sort of my number one view. Uh, number two uh, is we just leave it alone and let things go as they will. Uh, you two seem fine, I guess. Um, and, uh, but, you know, uh, the school can sort of chug on as it is. And then my third option is we just burn the whole damn thing down. Because if the options are maybe making light breaker over here, um, the head of the school, I, I would rather burn it down. I, I personally, I, I don't want to see the school burn to the ground. Um, and I think since I have a whole tome of notes from my time here and from being the scribe here as well, I would not be opposed to taking that responsibility to follow in the master's footsteps. Wait, I you cheated like a lot, didn't you? Hold on. I withdraw my vote for you and I just put it behind Alana. <laughs> I, I... In a moment of weakness, which lasted several years, the... <laughs> no, it did not last several years. It was a moment of weakness. You cheated to get I'm... in. You cheated later on. No, 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 no. You hold did on, because on. you were no, the one no, who wasn't no. punished. Remember? No, that is Igranak. You're getting confused. <laughs> no, I think you're yes, all. Yes, yes, you are getting confused. <laughs> I have the notes. You all look okay, the I... same to me, lizard people. I, got... <laughs> I have the notes. <laughs> It's Whoa, this book. took a turn. <laughs> it's in the book. He cheated. He got it, the book. Oh, you the weaklings. The stories were mine, the yes. Yes, the, the stories were mine. What I was your failing then? Me. What was it about you that was so so worthless? Well, you hated Xavier. Uh, my pet beaver. Like, you seem to have some real contempt for my, for my beaver. Oh, no. Xavier's fine. It's, it's, okay. it's his, it's his ride that seems to be the issue. <laughs> How about, if that's the case, then, what if... What if Xavier what, ran the school? What if Xavier ran the school and I'm the mouth? Well... So far, that is my favorite choice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, that, I still just have the notes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Xavier is clearly capable, isn't that right? I don't think a beaver should run the school. Why not? It's racist. It's <laughs> racist. <laughs> Beavers were very happy to take some lost children in at one point. This is this is also a beaver who got stuck in a pile of sticks. Aren't beavers supposed to be responsible for building things with things like sticks? I suspect well, I this know. beaver is actually, it trapped him um, with its wily magics. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I honestly kid. think we should just destroy the whole tower itself. Oh, do Destroy you? the tower. Destroy the way bridge. Leave it be. See what happens. No. Those are two we separate can't. ideas. Well, then just start with one and we'll work <laughs> up to the other. Wait, we're going to start with destroying it and work our way to leaving it be? Oh, I meant... I thought you meant... I thought you meant... I thought the two ideas were destroying the tower and destroying the wave bridge. I thought those were the two ideas. Nope. No, we should destroy... <laughs> we should destroy the tower. That's I see. The one idea that I have. We have a vote for destroying the tower. We have one vote for a beaver. Um, Alana, you don't want to leave it to a beaver. <laughs> I also don't think it should be destroyed. Mm. Why not? There are plenty of very intelligent people being trained at that school and others being kicked out for cheating reasonably. But I do not wish for them to be locked inside when we destroy it. They can go free. I just wish for the cruelty of the keeper to end. Which cruelty was that? Torture students here. It just seemed to be towards your class specifically, though. <laughs> you specifically. 
Lotto, who, who would you like to lead it? So we may, either we leave it alone and, and we have it do its own thing, or one of us should lead. Um... I'm not sure. I feel as though maybe a temporary leader mm. until we can find someone else. An interim leader. Mm. Why Why not just make it one of us? I do not wish to be the next keeper. I no one wishes well, that. We, we wanted to put well, you there. No one I, I'm just that. saying, I'm not, this is not a power <laughs> grab that I am making. But, but why not? But why not? The beaver is slightly <laughs> above you. <laughs> the beaver is far above me, it seems. But we don't need to rub it in. I don't need salt in the wound, damn it. I understand. You wanted to destroy the tower, so I don't think we're going to leave you in charge of it. Um, Wait, no, I, I, un I understand. I just want you to be sure and know clearly <laughs> that no one wants you in charge. <laughs> My point is that why not leave at least one of this group in charge? Why an interim? Well, based on the stories here, we have a um, frequent cheater in our midst. Yes. Someone else got kicked out for cheating. Yes. And uh, someone else who's power hungry for secret words. Yes. I mean, just to name a few. What about you? That leaves you. I thought Unless you wanted to pursue your apothecary, though. It's an option. You can hardly leave an apothecary, though, in charge of a magical school. What is she going to teach them? What spells? Look, the, there's the, only the two... There's only three options, I think, here for leaders. One, there's your... What's, what's the name of your ba beaver again? My bat? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say badger, but... Oh, okay, gotcha. Xavier. Back to species is him again, I see. Xavier. Um, so there's Xavier, who I believe to be a very powerful wizard who has ensnared this dolt. Um, <laughs> there is Egrenax the Lightbender, who I guess can do a thing or two. And then there's me, who knows a lot of magic. Um, but... <laughs> You seem to hate this school, though. or not necessarily hate this school, but you don't care about it. I, if I was head of the school, I would run it very differently. I will say okay, that. Okay, this is what I was going to ask. Now, tell me, how would you run the school if we were to choose you? I really wouldn't do the whole secret words thing. Like, the the, the words of power, whatever it is that the, the man... What, words of power, yes, the words, the words of power. The, the were, nonsense words of power. Um, I wouldn't, down, out with the words of power. Out with out. the words of power. That's great. That's second grade nonsense. Um, okay, uh, so far I am uh, supportive of this. What we would do is we would set up a bunch of different classes, essentially. We would have, like, potions. I'd hire Alana to teach the potions class. We'd have, like, a, a transfiguration mutation class where an old Scottish woman would run things and really just turn things into other things, you know? And then we'd sort of have, uh, we'd have a whole class about fighting evil, but we'd never really focus on that. Uh, but because, you know, who, who needs that, really? Um, and I, th I thought I might grow a very long white beard as well. Um, and build terribly inappropriate relationships with children. <laughs> no, no, I'm not voting for you. I like that last one. That I don't like that last one. Sort of letting them get into terrible danger, not really intervening. I don't, I don't I, think that's the goal of this school. You have me until the very last Right at the end. Right you know, here. just sort of let them go. Let just decide, Look, tell them secrets, no. and then just let them fight. This is fight. what you learned from the Keeper. This let is, them this fight is monstrous mentality. evil on no. their own with very no. little help from me except here and Look, there. I'm learning about the racism, and I'm learning about the, the, the bad relationships. You want. I don't think that's good for the Bad story. relationships are you let them stand on their own. You say, there's a terrible Dark Lord. I'm extremely powerful. I might defeat him myself, but go <laughs> do it. See, maybe you die. I don't know. You would encourage that? <laughs> yeah, it seems to work out here and there. <laughs> I've never heard of it working out, but okay. So far, the world hasn't been taken over by a Dark Lord, and there's a lot of dead wizard children who have tried. 
to, you know, stop the evil. And I guess it's worked, you know? I've got other things to do. I've got to go look for these other secret words. If, if, if. If you're so busy looking for secret words, then why would you be in charge of the school? What would I even do except hire a bunch of capable teachers? And then, and then, leave. And then sort and of go do my own could things. could hire a bunch of teachers. I am actually in support of this. I am prepared to vote for the various in a in a unexpected turn. I did not oh. did not see this coming. His proposition to turn the school into the hands of capable teachers is, I I I I believe it is time for. They all want that. The era. I know several already. <laughs> no, There's he's a. Just the one who's He's just the one who said it first. It's well, like well you can't say that. You can't, If that you was did. your plan originally, you should have said it first, shouldn't you? Now no. I said it, and you're like, oh, we all thought that. I remember I... you wanted to give the school to a badger. Let me no, ask you a no, question. On, Will you me... let a young boy <laughs> dance around in your memories in order to solve <laughs> secret puzzles? Seems really inappropriate. To have Doesn't happen. it? And yet, that's part of my plan. Why is that your plan? Just but, let the but, child but. dance around in my memories and see how other children have made terrible mistakes. <laughs> Look, real quick, Egrenax. I I petitioned the beaver as Xavier being the leader. Oh, the beaver will absolutely Get, have on, a on, have a teaching on. position <laughs> in my on. school. Sure, but I You will be thrown I into petitioned. the dungeons, however. <laughs> No, I'm definitely not voting for him. <laughs> look. I say give the I, beaver a vote. Look, I said that potentially having Xavier running it just to try and appease him. It could be an equal relationship. We could literally have it two keepers and it's me and Xavier. So it would and be you and the beaver, but the beaver wouldn't actually be doing anything because it's beaver, so you would really be running the school. And you cheated, which got you kicked out of school. So why would we let you run? The I did school? not get kicked out. I did not get kicked out. No. No. No, he left because he couldn't figure out how to get into the well. <laughs> no, that was him. Uh, you're all the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely disregarding. Here's the thing: I don't remember anything back. about your story. Then you are He's so banal back. to me that <laughs> look, look, I spent years here as a scribe i have meticulously kept notes on everything that i've learned everything that and you I want to hand them over to a dark wizard who's masquerading as a beaver and yet you couldn't memorize anything even though you've written it all down multiple times you had to write it on your own arm which got you kicked out it's not literally the same it's not Channeling oh, you're the one with the writings different. on his arms. Yes. Okay. Channeling, channeling the magic of what you're actually taught is different than actually like learning it. Like I can learn. Yeah. It, so instead of learning it, instead of learning it, you cheated by writing it on your arm. People struggle. People struggle, and then the master. You. I made we're in agreement. Children struggle against dark lords, and we have to let them. That's, like that's what... Did nope. you guys not hear him just call Xavier a dark lord in disguise during all this? I think it's very <laughs> likely. Does anybody else he's think going, it might be likely that that back. beaver is an how evil we, wizard? How do we not know that I'm, the beaver I'm, is the one that killed It could be Isatrix. It could be yeah. Isatrix in disguise. Yeah. That's what I'm wondering. You don't know that. The beaver is Try Isatrix. killing the beaver and see what <laughs> happens. You if it only blow. works if it's a lethal blow, you can't try. If you drown the beaver, hold on, hold on, hold on. No one's hitting. <laughs> no, no one's hitting Xavier. But hold on, you would think that dark Isatrix would also get stuck in a river under sticks and. It was a ploy to well, learn a trick. A, a beaver wouldn't. A beaver would eat its way out. So Correct. clearly, that's a that's an evil being in disguise. That's a bad bad beaver. Yeah. I feel like I'm going insane. So we've well, ruled the beaver out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so far we have two votes for, for my extremely sound plan of growing a long white beard and letting no. children fight no. evil. No. no! We have no. two votes for that. No. Uh, no. Well, we have two votes wait, for the opposite wait, direction. Wait. You can't just not wait. vote for it. You have to vote for something else. 
No, I believe I may be retracting my vote. I've heard a lot of child abuse coming from your plan. I was very much hoping that you would just sort of go off to find secret words and leave them. That's what I'm going to do. I it's a mandate for the teachers though. That if you find oh, a child no. who seems somewhat no. special, uh, no. and no. any he sort of dark lord us. gets this interested in them, want. you just you let that do. relationship develop. All you had to do was stop talking at the <laughs> leave part, and I would have I would have blessed your plan. Mm -hmm. um, mm. I can no Wouldn't longer you rather I'm transparent about it? Well, yes, if you're going to abuse them, I wish you I'm not going to do no, anything except... Give strangely cryptic <laughs> advice here and there when I could, in fact, use my vast power to defeat the Dark Lords as they arise. But instead, I will let, like, eight-year-olds attack them until we find one of them that's invulnerable for whatever reason. I, I... No. I don't know what to say. <laughs> don't know Other what to say. Going is that that? He's going mad. <laughs> He's going insane. Now I'm not, there's no way I'm voting for him to leave the school. So then Those what is an alternative are... proposal? Someone propose a good, sound alternative. Well, I am now uh, voting, voting for, for me. I'm burning it down. <laughs> I, I'm going to stick to what I said, that I have admitted that I have messed up. I've grown from it. I've still been learning, and I've still been a scribe. But are you, you want us to vote for, for your beaver. No, we've, we've ruled that Xavier might be a Dark Lord in disguise. Okay? Sure. So we can actually... Here, if I'm voted in and we believe that, that's a possibility, Xavier will release into the wild. I don't think we're going to vote any of us in at this point, so we should probably pick another option. We either just go our own ways or we burn the damn thing down. I'm not simply voting for burning the Simply because you're not going to win? Simply you're not going to get voted in? Oh, I don't think anybody's going to vote for the guy with the beaver. I have ruled out the beaver man, yes. <laughs> you ruled out the beaver. And You've the man. Out... And the man, what? yes. Well, yes, because you were so easily taken in by his I believe that the beaver might be a powerful enough wizard to run the school. I just don't necessarily trust its, like, plan. There's no proof that the beaver is Isatris. You said earlier. I didn't say Isatris, I just said a powerful dark wizard. There are many of them, as I have said, that I want to line up a, an army of children to fight them because there's so many of them. Egret actually yes. actively saying it's Isatrix. Was it not Maggie? I thought Maggie was Isatrix. Well, at one point. Well, clearly it's a shapeshifter. You've had Xavier with me all the time. You don't know that. So it'd be... I'm for... at, the I moment, at the moment the master died, where was your beaver? Yes. <laughs> Tell us He's location. on my shoulder throughout the day. He's on my shoulder. I don't know how to make this any more clear. In my office, I have a little Do you bed bathe with this beaver? Room. Are you are you in the bath with was, the beaver? I was just elaborating that he's not always on in my office. I have a little like comfy bed on the floor beside me. You're not encouraging me to vote for you at all. All right. I will release Xavier right now to prove to you he's not the Dark Lord. You are so power hungry that you will get rid of your lifelong companion to get this job. I, I do not want to see the school destroyed or just left to rot. We're not going to leave it to rot. Make just... a temporary lead. He just... Here's he just my vote. No my vote is we leave it alone. We let the school take care of itself. <laughs> I agree. I don't. Alana, what is your vote? Okay. And there we have it. We shall all go our own ways and live our own lives, gather to ourselves as much power as we might, return to the school one day, take it by force, that sort of thing. Um, so, uh, good, 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 good. Um... Now we must answer some questions. Uh, first, we will reveal our relationships to the master. Um, I will go first. I had an eight, which is the master's lessons never meant much to you. 
and you have left most of them behind. That does make sense. That's exactly yeah. the way you played that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, where'd this table go? There it is. Uh, I was confused. On, go ahead. Can I, are, are we allowed to hypothesize what you were through it? Yeah, like so you, you just exposed it. I, I exposed mine, but yeah, if you want to, if we want to try to guess what other people's were, that could be fun. Um, I thought you were nine. You thought you I was nine. You believe to have been a fraud. Um, that certainly could have fit as well. Yeah, I was. You eight. had. Go ahead. You you had a dark question earlier though that was straight up, like, um, oh right. How did I how did I learn the master was a fraud or something like that? So I like. It was like when, yeah, when... Um, pretty on the nose on that. Let's, uh, let's see, what was my dark question? It was... Um, uh, when did I learn the master was... No, that that's a new one I added. It was, when did my contempt for the master begin? Um, oh, yeah. Um, right. But yeah, mine was, mine was eight. The master's lessons never meant much to you. If we want to guess... Um, you're not going to be able to guess mine, I bet. I, I'd be really shocked if anybody could guess mine. I don't know what you would have been. Because if you said, if you remember, I said last time when it was happening that the first two, I really wanted to work my, but my first two prompts, I just could not really get there. And it just sort of took its own direction. So I tried to steer it back towards it with the, okay. the, with the, with the later ones. But Yeah, no, I, I have no idea. I was uh, six. You felt betrayed by the master. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That's I where the words of power, uh, you sure, know, find the word of power thing kind of worked out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Madison, what were, oh, you know what? Let's, um, hmm. How about, uh, were you uh, Jack? Nope. Do you, want me to, do you want me to say it or? I, I feel like, I feel like there's a possibility she got kicked. Yeah, I, I was thinking maybe a high card there, like, uh, you know, impersonation or. Especially if she, like, if Maggie straight up killed the master, if that is the truth. Uh -huh. And Maggie then just told her about it. And see, because there's a secretly, ser you're impersonating a student of the master and secretly killed right yeah that's you what <laughs> wait which one oh. was it yeah which one was it king. king she's the imposter so the question is did you write down your um your hope for the school <coughs> at the end yeah and uh the way that we twisted maggie apparently into becoming a dark lord uh. means that i guess the uh, maggie did not become the master <laughs> Mm. Well, yeah, I guess that's up in the air because we did just leave it as it was. So Maggie could have become the master. Um, I think that's an open-ended. Right. Like, mm. You didn't win or lose. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, that's awesome. Ben, what what did you have? Oh, wait, you, you told oh, me. I, yeah, yeah, mine was the felt betrayed by the master. Right. Yeah. David, what was yours? I was 10. You were devoted to the master and you've never strayed from the master's teaching since you left school. That's why I was, it yeah. I, you said her at the beginning only impossible. I was like, no, if I have this, I do want to run this. I feel like I would. Right. But right. the, I had to answer the dark question of how did I betray the master, uh -huh. which I felt like totally, <clears throat> totally took me off track from that. Because mm. that's the whole reason you guys didn't vote for me at the end too. <laughs> well, you cheated. Uh -huh. Also, didn't realize Xavier was gonna also be my downfall, but whatever. I mean, he really sounds like some sort of dark spirit, or it's or like forest spirit, or some does not sound like your average beaver. Like that's the keeper was there when I found it. <laughs> but, um, but that's why I was I was trying hard. To, I wasn't power hungry. I wanted to preserve it. Right. So now we all get to uh, just sort of. Uh, our farewells and completing the game. When the night is complete, each player can describe how they leave the school, <laughs> what they go off to do. Uh, these descriptions should avoid uh, describing what happens to other players. 
Um, and then we should each answer at least two of the questions. What do I take with me? What do I leave behind? Um, uh, does anybody want to go first about how they leave the school and what they go off to do? Um, well, I will say Tavarius just sort of leaps out a window. He grabs a he grabs a a, a vase off of a, a shelf and then just leaps out a window. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, and and just sort of uh, transforms into a bat and flies away, um, in search of of uh, you know the next the next secret word. Um, uh, and what does, what did he, uh, so what did he take with you? Well, I'd take the vase, but, um, <laughs> uh, believing it to be a map to the next secret word. Um, uh, how has my understanding changed? I would not say that it's changed wildly. I believe the master to be somewhat inept. And after having met his students, I now know the master was terribly inept. Um, <laughs> Um, but also I, I now believe that there is some sort of dark wizard who has taken the shape of a, a beaver that is playing a very long game that I will be <laughs> hunting the knowledge of. Um, kill me, dude. <laughs> the master's gonna, gonna kill me in the night now. <laughs> oh, it may be that either the beaver believes its cover is blown and has no need for you anymore, or, <laughs> <laughs> or I return many years later. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, and am I different now? I my contempt has grown. That that's pretty <laughs> much it. <laughs> wow. Uh, so yeah. So that is uh, that is what happens to uh, Thavarius, master of the secret word. Sorry, master. I should change it. It's not master of the secret word. It's master of a secret word. <laughs> Who wants to go next? Can I ask you all a question? Do you remember last time what we said? The book, the book that I stole, whatever, way back at the beginning of my story, that then I then I went back and got. Did we decide whether the master ever ended up getting that book back? Because I know that was asked of me, and I don't no. remember. Yeah, I think the answer was no. That you no yeah, one no, knew you, what you to just it. took it. Yeah. Right, your friend never came back though. Right, like they right. died or whatever. Was the one who stole right, it, and he never came back. He's just trying to decide what what I'm leaving with and uh, like something I can leave with. So I was trying to see if the master had it. Uh, sure. I could I could go. I mean, you yeah, could say ahead. that he did. Sure. You could or say he that can, he, yeah. they eventually recovered sure. it. Go Maybe ahead. You he go killed your then... friend and took the book back. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> well, I assumed that he did kill the friend, but that uh, I, but I got the book out of it for a while. All right. I'll think. I'll I'll mull that over. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. Take your time. Take your time very quietly on our live stream. <laughs> uh, David, what, what What about you? How does... So for Chauncey, um, the story that hit me the hardest, other than having to relive, uh, was actually Egrenax's, uh story. And like... Because um, I felt like... Like, the lessons that stuck with me throughout the years were pretty powerful. But then hearing what was taught to Egrenax with, like, and how he was punished and, like, sometimes cheating is good and, like, it really gave me a different sense of who the, ma who the keeper must have been. Um, so, my understanding... I'll say that's how my understanding... Um, because that's like I like based on the personality card I felt like I like really looked up to the keeper and mm -hmm. now I don't as much now right I do take with me um I would say that during all of this I was continuing time um about the stories that had happened just documenting what had happened to each person um and what I would hope I could do is since we decided that we're leaving this school behind. And honestly, it sounded like he had a twisted way of working class. 
Um, I would probably, I wouldn't want his legacy to die or his less, the good lessons to die. Um, and so gaining help from the fact that I have all these runes on, remember these, these important, uh, magics, I would try and start my own school. Mm. Um, <clears throat> that was based around how I was taught. Um, and, and beaver hopefully magic. Be, the beaver is more of a mascot for the school. <laughs> Xavier, we, we're the Xavier Beavers, okay? In my fan we, fiction, the beaver transforms the moment you've started the school, murders you, and says, now I have my disciples. And <laughs> Tavarius has his own little novel he's writing while he's pursuing and the, beaver the dark lord. You know, we're, 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 we're sort of... <laughs> Um, just to clarify, did you say in there somewhere that this is Xavier University that you just founded? I think I, I caught that. I just said, <laughs> I just said we're the Xavier Beaver. So I guess it okay. is the Xavier University. Guess, is it a university? Is my question. So sure. they have to start as a college and then work their way up. They can't just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. But that's I. I think that answers some of the questions. Cool. Uh, Madison, what about you? Yes, um, I think I just kind of start exploring the school a little bit as on my way out. Um, I find the potions room and I find what appears to be invisible ink. Mm. Ooh. Um, and I take that and I walk out the front of the school and on the main doors, I just write in the invisible ink, it's your turn. Oh. Um, Ooh. Okay. And, uh, and the ink is, has a special effect where at a certain time of night, uh, it glows. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, now, when Maggie sees it, as we're all leaving, she knows to take her turn. It's elven ink. It's when the moon shines. Mm -hmm. the, the, the... Mm -hmm. um, what, is, Jesus. what is the name of that? Is it Isolin? Uh, sorry, this is just a Lord of the Rings nonsense. Um, Isolin. <clears throat> uh, cool. What is she... What is she... Um, did you hit at least two of those questions? I think so. Okay. What do I take with me? Um, uh, so what do I take with me? Uh, what do I leave behind? I guess the message too, but, um, but yeah, I was technically never a student at the school. Yeah. So my, my understanding of the master hasn't changed really because Never cared, except for I helped kill him. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. Um, I love that your that your master is just a lizard lady that I made up at the end. Like that. The, <laughs> that, is, that, that is a good appropriation of somebody else's story. That yeah. character became essential. Yeah. Very. Very. In all of them. Because um, then it became the Dark Lord is in person. Right. Then, yeah. Um, that was essential. <laughs> uh, ben, what about you? Yeah, Ekernax leaves very sad, uh, very sullen, having realized the truth of the whole thing that you all made Ekernax realize that um, they, it was the words of power were always a ruse, that it was all just one final mocking lesson for for Ignax all along it was never it wasn't the kind of betrayal that he thought it was uh so he leaves very sullen he um takes his book of words of power and buries it somewhere just buries it in the ground real deep somewhere and then and then goes and enrolls at Xavier College <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying these words. yes because, yeah. because, because, uh, I, the other thing that, that I think Egernax laid to rest was like, he came, came to peace with, eventually came to peace with the whole thing with the master, like, like almost like realizing that you all were right and realizing that them, that 
you know, he believes, you know, this master sucks. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, screw this master. Uh, and decided to start over. So he decided to start over right from the mm-hmm. beginning. No cheating. He's going to earn his way into Xavier College. Mm-hmm. Uh, Does he get accepted? <laughs> I'm going to say yes. It's my story, damn it. <laughs> uh, I feel like he's different now because he's um, really made peace with the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, that is, that is where we will leave it. Our, our characters have, have the little stories afterwards. Um, again, uh, uh, Thavarius' fan fiction is that, uh, his great, the great battle he has at the end of his life is against the dark wizard who's been masquerading as a beaver for decades. Um, uh, uh, and he's aided by, by a 15 year old boy who he has groomed to be a warrior uh, oh for the last, <laughs> the last five years, just pitting him <laughs> against Dark Lord after Dark Lord, and the dumb kid has somehow managed to survive with a stupid friend and a, and a know-it-all female friend, and, and somehow <laughs> this dumb kid has managed to defeat a Dark Lord. Um, but the dumb kid goes up against the Dark Lord and dies. Like, that's what happens. Yes, but <laughs> I've taught him magic that brings him back once. It's not magic; it just keeps bringing you back. It's just the one time, um, and uh, and that magic is a secret word. Um, that's what I was gonna add. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah. Uh, hey, thanks for thanks for <laughs> watching the hard lessons, uh, the origins of Dumbledore. Um, <laughs> um, uh, right now, you can uh, get this game and play it however you want. You can play it uh, as a <laughs> as a secret uh, magical society. You can play it uh, with uh, four Robins lamenting the death of Batman. You can have four Jedi um, uh, talking about their old their old master. Uh, whatever you want to do, kung fu school or or private detective, um, all of that is possible. It's a agnostic uh uh system agnostic game uh also great for creating backstory for your existing characters um i think it'd be really cool actually to play this with a group in D D who like you're starting off with you were all students of a school and now you've been brought together uh and you're sort of st- creating the school with the game uh, to kind of uh, create some backstory for your character. Yeah, hundred um, I mean, percent. If I could, if I could say real quick too, like I'm from this game, from our two times playing it, this mm-hmm. Chauncey character and this pet Beaver uh-huh. is all improvised. Like I have a session this Saturday that I'm like, this is a cool NPC, and I have a whole backstory about this character. That's awesome. Like, that's awesome. I think that's a really cool tool to have mm-hmm. too. Yeah, that I I love the idea of making games that help people write things. Um, and so like creating creating characters out of this stuff, um, is, I love that idea. And I love uh, I want to hear I want to hear Chauncey's future. So I want to check back in and find out what happens with Chauncey. Um, sure. So uh, yeah, uh, hey, is there anything you guys want to promote, Madison? Is there anything you want to promote uh, for people to go find you doing? Um, you can just find me on Instagram at Madison Leash. Uh, I've got a couple projects going on right now. One I'm really excited, hopefully, when it comes out or when I can actually start sharing things about it, at least. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Awesome. Uh, and we'll put your social media link in the, um, uh, in the notes on YouTube. Uh, David, what about you? Is there anything you want to promote? Um, kind of same boat as Madison, uh, just projects coming out and just continuing to, stuff. but I'm on Instagram at David is stalling. Uh, and yeah, very happy. I could be a part of this and try out this game. Yeah, we have, we're yeah, hopefully going to be doing more. We have more games coming up. Uh, Ben has broken coming out, uh, relatively soon. That's a two person game. Um, and then we have. We have a few more in the pipeline for playtesting yeah. later this year. Um, yeah. There's one kind of big one that's like this, but it has way more charts, uh, way more tables okay. to look things up. Um, and then there's one that's like a much 
more condensed uh, game as well. And they're all like collaborative nar uh, narrative uh, games. So um, we're hopefully going to be doing well. I mean, then we're going to end up we're going to end up play testing the pirates set yeah. for this once that's done um, before we release that. So, yeah, I think that that could be a lot of cool. fun. Uh, ben, anything you want to promote before we get out? Oh, well, you know, just go to allpartsopen.com. And uh, on Mondays, most Mondays, I host a TTRPG talk show called Holy Happy Hour Batman. There is no episode this coming Monday, the 6th, mm -hmm. but on June 13th, I'm actually doing a special double feature episode. It's going to be uh, like late night talk show style. So um, Tyler Crumrin is going to be joining me first um, and coming on at uh, 7 p.m., um, mm. and then he's going to stick around. Okay. Um, and, uh, Nevin Holmes, another game designer is going to be joining us at eight and popping in. And he's so, so Tyler's just going to, uh, slide down the couch and, uh, Nevin's going to join us sort of late night style. Well, nice. very long late night style. Very long, so long early night <laughs> style. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But they actually work together on games a lot of times okay. as I kind of found out. Um, it was, it was actually kind of a, booking coincidence but they know each other they work together a lot they've edited each other's work and stuff for game releases um so i'm gonna it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a fun episode that's awesome um and next tuesday uh that would be the um the seventh uh our next episode of the the worst days uh our space adventure is coming out and then yes. alternatingly every tuesday and monday we have two horror games going on Tuesday nights is space horror. Monday nights is uh, pizza party center horror. Um, <laughs> one night at Slumpo's is Monday nights. And then shore leave is Tuesday nights. Um, and we've got all sorts of weird meta stuff going on with those two adventures uh, that I'm pretty excited for. You can find all of our stuff at uh, Linktree. Um, I guess it's link.tree link. Whatever Linktree is slash all ports open. Um, and you get all of our, all of our stuff there, YouTube, Twitter, website, discord, everything is there. So, uh, yeah, that'll do it. So for Madison, David, Ben, and myself, thanks for watching the hard lessons and Hey, check out the itch funding. Uh, we only have a couple days left on it and, uh, we're, we're on our next stretch goal superheroes. Uh, all right. Good night, everybody.